The hockey world comes together today to celebrate the life of former Leaf icon Johnny Bauer, who passed away last week at the age of 93 after a battle with pneumonia. Let's talk a little bit more about his legacy and also what we can expect today. Uh, former Leaf icon? I, I think you're still a Leaf icon. Just, <laughs> just in case you didn't get the memo. Wendell Clark, one of our friends, uh, joining us uh, right now and a friend of Johnny Bauer himself. Uh, it, it's been very sad, but today I think it's definitely a day of, of being happy. Well, it's, you're celebrating uh, Johnny today and, and the memories that he brought all of us, not just as a fan, but us guys that played the game and are fellow alumni of Johnny and the family and, and uh, really just celebrating everything he's done and how he's carried himself from starting as a player to the many, many years of, of being in the community and around the team and just representing uh, the team and uh, uh, himself as a hockey player and, and the, the amount of fun he brought everybody. In fact, it was the only good part of the Leaf game last night was the, uh, the tribute. Well, the ending wasn't good. <laughs> yeah, with the tribute of Johnny Bauer before where every player came out with the number one on their back. Uh, they lowered his, uh, his banner slightly out of, uh, out of recognition yesterday during the, uh, the Leaf game. Yeah, no, it was a great job done, everybody coming out, and uh, the players are really do a great job of, of getting the history and understanding, and, and they all knew Johnny. He was in, out, and around the, the team, and uh, you, you get to know Johnny because of him as a player. Initially, that's how you meet Johnny, and then once you've met him, you get, well, that, that's one of the nicest guys I've ever met. Well, this is what I want to ask you. Johnny Bauer, uh, great hockey player, greater ambassador? Um, for sure, like yeah. he did, because he, he did the ambassador role far longer than he played, and <laughs> and uh, he, he uh, he's, he's somebody that you met Johnny because of winning the cups and being the goalie and the trophies and, and everything. But once you've met with him and talked to him and sat with him, he probably ended up asking you more questions about <laughs> yourself than you were there to talk to him about, and and that's the thing. He, he made everybody feel comfortable, and and uh, you wanted to be a hockey player after you finished talking to Johnny. You know, first you know, nice guys finish first, not last. He. He, and when he came out on the ice, too, I, and I'm not talking about when he played. I'm talking about now. When he came out on the ice, he didn't hobble out on, onto the ice. He, he came out there with energy, vim, and vigor, even, even at uh, 93. He did. He, that was home. Uh, the hockey rink is home for him. I think uh, uh, when he walked out on the rink, on the ice, he loved the energy, loved that stage. And, and even when he finished playing, you talk to the guys that uh, would have played in the, in the, the mid-70s, early 80s even maybe. The, uh, he, he'd put the equipment on. If the extra goal was down, he'd be out playing net and, and wanting to stop goals. He loved, <laughs> he loved playing hockey. Nobody liked it more than Johnny for how long it took him to get to the NHL and then play that long. And, and be that good at it. He, he loved the game and he showed it and, and wanted just to keep uh, showing people how much fun it was to be a, a hockey player. Okay, so the gate, uh, gate one opens at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Uh, the service, well, not service, the uh, celebration will get underway at 3 this afternoon. We're carrying it live on Sportsnet starting at 2.30. Wendell, thank you so much for being here. Thank I appreciate you. It.